Hi, today Ask F5 shows you how to configure a virtual server to serve multiple HTTPS sites using the TLS server name indication feature on a big IP system. TLS server name indication, or SNI, allows multiple SSL certificates to be associated with a single IP address, enabling hosting of multiple HTTP sites on a single virtual server. Before you start, ensure that you have the SSL certificate and key pairs for each of the HTTPS sites you intend to configure. The first step is to import the SSL certificate and key pair for each HTTPS site you want to configure. To do so, log in to the Big IP Configuration Utility and go to System, Certificate Management, Traffic Certificate Management, SSL Certificate List. Select Import. For Import Type, select Key. For Key Name, enter a name for the certificate. For Key Source, select Browse or Choose File and go to the location of the file, select it, and then select Import to upload the key file to the Big IP system. Select the name of the certificate and key pair you have entered earlier, and select Import. Select Browse or Choose File, and go to the location of the file, select it, and select Import to upload it to the system. Repeat these steps for each of the SSL certificates and key pairs for the remaining HTTPS sites you're configuring. Next, create a client SSL profile to be associated with each SSL certificate. First, you should create a base SSL client profile as the parent of the other SSL profiles you want to create for each HTTPS site. To do so, go to Local Traffic, Profiles, SSL, Client, select Create. Enter a unique name for the base profile. Configure the settings as appropriate for your environment and select Finished. You should create a fallback client SSL profile to be used as the default SSL profile when there is no match to the server name or the client does not support SNI extension. To do so, go to Local Traffic, Profiles, SSL, Client, select Create, and enter a unique name for the profile. Select the base client SSL profile you created as the parent profile. If you have an SSL certificate and key pair for the fallback client SSL profile, you can add them under Configuration by selecting the Certificate Keychain checkbox and selecting Add. You should also select the checkbox for Default SSL Profile SNI setting. Select Finished when you're done. Next, create the SSL profile for each HTTPS site. Select Create. Enter a unique name for the profile. Select the base client SSL profile you created earlier as the parent. Select the Certificate Keychain checkbox and then select Add. Select the Certificate and Key for the HTTPS site. Select the Server Name setting and enter the fully qualified domain name of the HTTPS site. Configure other settings as appropriate for your environment and then select Finished. Repeat these steps to create a separate client SSL profile for each of the HTTPS sites you're configuring. Virtual servers handle traffic and direct it to the appropriate SSL profile based on the server name indicated by the client. To configure the virtual server, go to Local Traffic, Virtual Servers, Virtual Server List. Select Create. Enter a unique name for the virtual server. Set the destination address and service port as needed. With configuration set to advanced, for HTTP profile client, select HTTP. For SSL profile client in the available list, select the client SSL profiles you created earlier and move them to selected. This enables the virtual server to use SNI to distinguish between different HTTP sites. Configure other settings as appropriate for your environment, and then select Finished. Test each HTTPS site to ensure that traffic is correctly routed and served with their respective SSL certificates. To do so, log in to a client that has an open SSL utility toolkit installed and has access to the Big IP virtual server. To verify that the virtual server returns the SSL certificate for the fallback SSL profile, use the following command syntax, which you can copy from below. 
Because the command does not specify the server name, the virtual server should return the certificate from the fallback SSL profile. To verify that the virtual server returns the SSL certificate for the TLS SNI SSL profile, use the following command syntax, which you can copy from below. Because the command specifies the SNI server name, the virtual server should return the certificate from the TLS SNI SSL profile. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please send us an email. Thanks for watching.